Hey y'all, if you're like me and you struggle with the cost of shipping, especially if you ship reads, but maybe you ship something from your Etsy shop that's other than reads and you're frustrated, stay tuned. I'm using this new free software to help me save lots of money on shipping. Hello, I'm Julie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Reads, where we make beautiful reads and teach you how to make and sell them. I have been teaching people in my inner circle how to sell handmade, and one of the things that they always have a problem with is shipping. Especially if you are a wreath maker, our wreath boxes can be very large and shipping can get very costly. Hopefully this new software will be the answer for you. Don't forget, if you liked this video and like to see more, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and follow our channel. I want to review a shipping software um, called Parcel Path. It's a software that's saving me anywhere from 30 to 55% when I ship my wreath sized boxes. So first, let me show you um, what that looks like. Okay, so here is what I used to pay for shipping FedEx and then using the parcel path is over here. And so with the box size 24, 24 by 10, I mean, I'm saving about 49% on average for um, shipping. So that's a huge uh, decrease for me. And also for a 20, 20 by eight box, I'm saving about 38%, another huge um, decrease. It's called a parcel path. It's free okay so there are no subscription fees no contracts or hidden fees no shipping history needed sometimes when you create an account they want to know what is your shipping history like when i created my business my fedex business account they wanted to know how often i shipped and what do i ship and all of that stuff and that's not needed here um, let's see, it doesn't, also it doesn't require you to set up accounts with other shipping carriers. So sometimes you get a software where you have to create a FedEx account, you have to create a UPS account, or you have to create a USPS account, so, or a stamps.com account. So this one, you don't have to do any of that. Um, and so that is always a plus. And did I say it was free? <laughs> the things that they do offer um, our pickup, they offer pickup and drop off locations. So I'm going to show you, you could quickly find pickup and drop off locations, tracking and insurance. They do offer all of that. Uh, they offer shipping analytics. They offer preset package tool to, so you can remember your shipping boxes. So for me, I always ship, you know, 20, 20 by eight or 24, 24 by eight or 24, 24 by 10 or 18, 18 by five. So those are my most common shipping sizes. And so what I'm doing, I can put that already in and it make it quick. It'll make it quicker when I'm creating my label to just have it preset. They offer batch shipping. So if um, you're a shipper and you um, you know, get 15, 20 orders a day. You can just upload it one time into this. It's a, it'll create all the labels for you. Um, so that's awesome. They also offer USPS scan forms. So you would just print that off. So when they come to pick up at your home or your place of business, um, you, the postal person only needs to scan that one form and it'll upload all of them. So that's good. Um, let's see, Mul they offer multiple locations. So for example, if I ship from one place and then let's say I have to ship from my warehouse, I can put in that location as well. Um, there's been times when we've gone to events and I've had to, I needed FedEx to pick over, pick up at the hotel. So I'm able to add more locations. Um, they are, they support USPS and FedEx. Uh, so they are looking at partnering with other shipping carriers, but right now it's uh, the post office and FedEx that they integrate with. And you only pay for shipping. Um, and you can use a major credit card or an ACH bank transfer. So remember, you're not paying a subscription fee and you're not paying a monthly fee or a contract. So what you pay for is only the shipping. Um, they do offer the insurance through ship insurance and it costs 60 cents per $100. So I think that's pretty decent. 
um, it's not a lot so that's pretty cool so far the negatives of it haven't been where I wouldn't use it so it doesn't integrate with Etsy yet so I'm thinking it will it does integrate with Shopify so I have a feeling it's just a matter of time before uh, it gets um, linked with Etsy and the other thing that I would consider maybe a negative or why some people like wreath makers might not use it is I don't see where PayPal is an option for paying um, it's just your major credit cards but if you're like me and you have your PayPal business account, you probably already have a Visa debit card that goes with your PayPal account. So you can always use that as a workaround for using PayPal. In order to get started, all you do is click the get started on their website homepage, and then you're going to fill out the form. So it's going to be basic information like your name and your address, email, you create your password, you're going to put in your address, your shipping address, and then here where it asks for your company URL, if you have a website, put that there. And if you have an Etsy shop, you would put your Etsy shop URL there. Um, and then who referred you, if you want, put Southern Charm Rees. That would be awesome. But if you don't want to fill that out, you don't have to. You click agree. I'm not a robot. You click that and click register. Once you're approved, you should get an email that's from their support team that you have been approved and it gives you a link for your um, login and where to where to log in and then they've got some more additional uh, support videos for you in the email. Once you're logged in, um, you're going to see this little um, sidebar over here that we can walk through quickly. You can see that it has ship shipping right here. So you can see this is one that I shipped today. Um, and then I can schedule a pickup right here. So let's go through um, the, the sidebar and then I'll show you how to um, go ahead and create your first label. Here is where you can create your um, USPS scan form. And then if you don't know where to drop off your boxes or your shipping boxes, you can look for the nearest location. So they've got that quick links for you. Here is if you want to create a weight rate quote, if you know you're shipping from your zip code and you want to ship to, um, you know, say another zip code right here, you can um, get a rate quote. So I'm going to tell it's residential and I'll say my box size right here in pounds and then I'll get a rate quote. So this is good if you want to compare all of the different rates. Um, so mine is a home delivery looks to be FedEx home delivery seems to be the cheapest one. So that's good. The other thing you can get, so the rate quote, so you can, if, for example, if you are trying to figure out what your average is. So I know for my success circle group, I give like all these addresses, um, just to, all over the country. And I'll go ahead and put those here in the video too. But like, for example, when we were over here looking at the differences, um, these are the addresses we just put in. You could just put in all of these different zip codes, trying to get about, you know, nine or 10 different ones located all over the U S so that we get a good average. Um, that's the way I always ship mine is on based off an, off an average. Um, so that I can offer flat rate shipping on my Etsy shop. But year obviously could be different. Um, but anyway, so you could go ahead and put all of the zip, zip codes in there with the same um, package information and write down your rates and then average it out. And that way you get a flat rate shipping um, rate. If you have any adjustments from your carrier, um, that would be listed here under the adjustments. Uh, tab and then under analytics you can start to start you know analyzing your shipments as you start creating more you can see I've just got the one but it will give you more information about your balance and any pending returns or refunds but um, it's interesting that you're gonna be able to scroll down here and see all of the different um, carriers and how many you do as well as what your top states would be and then quickly if you want to track something you'll be able to click this and go straight to uh, for me it was FedEx I can go straight to the FedEx um, and track that package all right so settings here is where you're going to set 
um, some of the general settings. Like I want my default carrier to be FedEx. I personally just like FedEx. It's just to me easier for tracking. It's It's been more reliable and that's just a personal preference for me. Um, I want my, when I export my files, I want it in an Excel version, but you might want to do CSV. So, you know, maybe you don't have Excel, but you do have something like numbers or something like that. You can always change this to a CSV format if you plan on downloading and exporting any information. Um, I want the automatic address correction to be enabled. So if I enter something and it says, wait a minute, this address doesn't look right, it'll prompt me to um, use that address. However, you can always overwrite it if you want to. The label size would be here. So I use a shipping label, um, four by six shipping label. But if you want to do it on eight and a half by 11 paper, you can and you can tell it to either center it on the page, do the right side or the left side. So you can set your labels here. And then down here is your email notifications. You're just going to tick off any of the ones that you want to um, get emailed about and then you click save. So here is the integration. So if you have a Shopify account, this is where you would be able to connect your Shopify. But again, they don't integrate with Etsy and hopefully one day they will, but um, I'm okay with that for right now because I don't ship tons. Here's your payment type. This is where you're gonna enter your credit card information so that they will credit or you know charge your card whenever you ship something. And here's where you set your preset packages. So remember I said we um, have preset packages that we use. So let me show you the inside of that. So here is where I assign the name and then you can set which one you want to be the default. If you want this one to be the default or some other one. Um, let's see here. We're just going to put, I always put other packaging for our wreaths. And then I put my dimensions 24, 24 by 10 for this box. That's why I named it 24, 24 by 10. My weight is five pounds. Um, if you want any additional services, you can click that. Um, I always put standard signature. If you have hazardous materials, you're gonna wanna click that. And then the insurance, I'm doing 100. You can view more insurance details right here if you want to, but remember it's 60 cents per $100. And then you're gonna click save. And so you can do that and keep entering all of your um, custom boxes and it makes quicking, quick and easy shipping. Here is where um, you're gonna put your shipping from locations. Remember, you can add more. So I can add my warehouse or I can add, um, you know, if I'm shipping from a hotel or something like that. If you wanna edit your email template, you can do that right there. There's always a link for support. So now let me show you and walk you through the process of actually creating a label. So let's ship now using um, the parcel path. I'm gonna go over to my Etsy shop and first I'm going, what, wrong one. I'm gonna go over and pull up the order that I need to ship. And I'm just going to copy this information right here. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go over to my parcel path. And I'm gonna click over here, create shipment. Since I'm only doing one, I'm gonna do a single shipment. But remember, you can all also upload um, if you've got, a, you wanna batch process shipments, so if you've got you know a lot to do. So I'm gonna do single shipment and I'm gonna use FedEx. I've got my address here and I'm gonna click paste address. So we're gonna paste that in there. I am gonna correct the capitalization cause you know, I am OCD about stuff like that. L E N for Lane, Columbia. Okay, paste in the address. Okay, so now we can confirm we've got you're just gonna fill in all of the red asterisks, okay? So we've got her name um, and we don't need an email, but we do need a phone number. So I'm just gonna throw in mine. And then her address is filled in. And then we've got um, the right city, the state, the zip is filled in. I'm gonna click that this is a residential address. Um, that does affect your shipping um, so make sure if it's residential you say that it's residential <clears throat> if not there will be an adjustment on your account because it does cost more to ship to a residential location package information um, 
If you want to click, have a return address, you, I mean a return label, you can click there to include a return label, but we don't accept returns personally here at our company, so we're not doing that. Do you want to use a preset? I do want to use a preset. So we, I've already got these set up. So mine is a 24248 box. All right, so do you want to modify your package? I do not, and I am shipping it today. All right, so I'm going to now click on the select service. There we go. So you can see that it's gonna cost 1947. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Total shipment cost. Um, the insurance is 60 cents per $100. Um, total payable amount. And this is in cart with my credit cards on file. And then I am going to purchase label. Okay, here we go. So now what I want to do is uh, print. So here is my label. So I'm going to print and I'm going to select my printer, my label printer. And this needs to be the four by six inches right there and then print. Okay, so we can see that we we've got our label printed, which is awesome. And I'm going to go back to here and then um, if you want to schedule a pickup, you can do that next. So typically what I'll do is um, I'll ship for one day, like I'll have four or five to ship in one day and I'll do that. I'm a small company, so I only ship four or five. <laughs> um, but you know, you can also schedule your pickup. So to schedule a pickup, you can just um, click in the date. Like if you click on here, I can tell it um, where to pick up you know, if it's a home, um, also the time frame that I want them to pick up. And then there is a $3 fee for, um, for ground pickups. So just know that it says you'll be charged a fee per package for $3. Okay. So just keep that in mind, but still, it's still considerably less than what I was paying. All right, so the next thing you need to do, so it doesn't integrate with Etsy. I keep clicking the wrong one. It doesn't integrate with Etsy. So what I'm gonna have to do is click Mark Complete, and I'm gonna tell the FedEx routing number that I was assigned. All right, and it's shipping today, and I'm gonna put click mark is complete. So I do have to go back to Etsy and manually tell it that it's shipped um, versus have it integrate automatically and mark it as um, completed or shipped. So that's how you can use a parcel path to help save on your shipping when you are shipping your wreaths or anything you ship from your Etsy shop. Comment below and tell me what you think about Parcel Path if you're going to give it a try. Also, if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.